Hey everybody, I hope that this video finds you doing well and everything is really fantastic in your life. It's been a little while since I've done a uh, Facebook Live and uh, considering all the different things that have been going on, I figured, you know what, it's time. So, welcome. I want to talk tonight about dreams and there's a lot of different reasons why I want to talk about the concept of dreams and it's not in the sense of dreaming when you're asleep. It's dreams in the sense of things that pop up in your head that you'd like to see in the world that may seem very unique or it may seem that it's there's a huge obstacle. You know, you think something but you might not necessarily truly believe that it's possible because of the way the world is, right? So let's talk about that. Um, as it as it is right now, I am installing um, uh, an installation that's going to open up in Nashville on this coming Saturday at DBO Gallery, and it's a project that I've been working on for a long time. It's the Dream Map project, and let me explain what that is. You can look it up on my website. It's KimBerryStudio.com. And if you go under the page of work and then go under installations, the very first thing that pops up under the installations is called the Dream Map Project. And I've been working on this since 2010, and there's a reason for it. The idea of what we think about that we inherently believe we can bring to the table, regardless of money or regardless of the obstacle of money, that there's something that inherently we were born into this world to give or to experience or to share or to do. What is that? And you are faced with this map that I create out of paper money, like paper play money. Okay, I, I get it from Amazon, whatever. And I wheat paste little bits of play money into a shape of the United States. And so you're looking at the United States in a map of money. Because money was supposed to be the end all be all of everyone's success. You know, we come here to work, to make a bunch of money, to be able to do whatever we want to do. But the funny thing about doing that is that if we only focus on the money, we end up getting trapped into many different different conversations in our life that 90% of our energy, 90% of our actions, 90% of our thoughts go into something that doesn't necessarily create our own abundance. It doesn't necessarily create joy. It doesn't necessarily create kindness in the world. It doesn't necessarily create goodness. And there's a reason for that. And I've known this for a long time. Um, and that's why I have been so dedicated in putting together this project. It allows people, maybe sometimes people have never been able to, they, they haven't been allowed to think like that because they're always in survival mode. They're always in poverty mentality of, I have to do whatever gets me a dollar in order to exist. What's been coming out the last few years, and I'm so grateful it's come out, is that we now understand that the top five, we can say six now, industries or mentalities, economies that create a derivative of everything else that happens in the world starts off with war. It ends up in human trafficking. It ends up in sex trafficking. It ends up in drug trafficking. It ends up in child trafficking. It ends up in organ trafficking. Everything else is a derivative. The, the finance world, the banking world, they just wash the money. And you get a bunch of people that go into the finance world and they're washing the money. 
you get a whole bunch of people in the government that are paid to protect it. You get a bunch of people that dream of becoming a journalist. The only people. Shh, guys. I'm 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 with a couple dogs here tonight, and they're a little feisty. They might have seen something down. Can you get down? Can you get down? When you deal with the pharmaceutical industry, you're dealing with a whole bunch of drugs and selling a bunch of drugs to kids who've been traumatized by these things and you want to shut them up. Or you pay to play with all kinds of different things. If you, if you actually want to be your own entrepreneur, up until now, it's been very difficult. There's a reason, there's a reason. But it's all changing. And a lot of things have been coming up, which is so fantastic. When I was a kid, I dreamed a lot. Um, I was in a very toxic environment growing up. There was a lot of pain, there was a lot of chaos, there was a lot of yelling, there was a lot of fear. There was a, there was a lot of everything. And so what I would do is I would tune into the television to tell me what was going to be good, to give me ideas of what a great life was going to be or what my dreams could be. You listen to the commercials, you listen to the television shows, you watch the movies, you want to understand what uh, will make you successful. And I remember the first movie that really was connected with me, which is kind of terrifying, actually, was Flashdance when I was a little kid. Now you think about that. Flashdance, of all things. And what did Flashdance have to say? And why was it a blockbuster? There's a reason. Let's go on to the idea of dreams with what's coming out now with Steven Spielberg and his company called DreamWorks. Let's talk about the power and the inception of his films that have in, inspired so many young kids to be down with the narratives of what his films are about. And now we have found out what he's about isn't that a dangerous thing? Disney was down. Disney was down. It's called pedophilia. It's called teaching kids that their dream is to be this sexual being that's going to create all kinds of abundance of materialism in their life and they sell them a certain dream that always in reality creates destruction. Okay. So how can we change that? We can change that at any given moment. When I woke up to this and I saw many things, I saw many things along my journey and, and, um, uh, I keep seeing more things, which is great. You just keep learning. But the most important thing that I've learned is that we 100% have the power to make whatever we truly believe in happen. We really do. That's the thing that no one ever wants to tell you. But I'm here to tell you it's 100% possible, regardless of the, the, what you have in your bank account, regardless of the imaginary worries of what's possible that you think is possible or not. You have the power, especially if it's under God, and you know that your heart is telling you to do something, mountains will move. And I'm here to to, as testimony to it. You know, for those of you who have known what I've gone through, I mean, 
Hello, I've walked the walk. So here's a really cool thing. Forget money, okay? Forget the fiat money. It's a little tiny piece of paper. But you, your own energy, your time, your imagination, your belief in what you think you can do, and you go for it. You decide and you go for it, and you allow all the resources to come to you in all kinds of weird ways. You can make those things happen. And the Dream Map Project is a conduit for people to first be allowed to think about that for the very first time sometimes in their life. They walk up to this map and, and the map is usually about 16 feet long and about eight feet high. And like I said before, I wheat paste little paper money, okay, in the shape of the United States. And then there's a table that you walk up to and every single person that's gonna come into the gallery on Saturday just as, they, just as everyone did in Los Angeles, just like what everyone did in Pittsburgh, just like what everyone did in Jacksonville. They walk up to the map, there's a little table, and there's these little like Charlie Brown thought clouds that I cut out. And it says, forget money. Write down something that you really want to see in your life. Something that you'd want to become something that you want to change, something that you want to create, something that you want to experience, anything, anything that actually raises you up, that allows life into you and into the people around you, write it down. Because you know what's interesting? It's like a to-do, it's like, it's like a to-do list. You know what, you can have these thoughts, but if you don't write it down, it's sort of fleeting, right? But when you write it down, there's a 50% chance more that you're actually gonna do it. So there you write it down. And then you take the action of putting it anywhere you want on the map of the United States. And you take that dream that you just wrote down and you put it ahead of money. You put it in front of it. Because now your dream is covering the money. It's more important than all the other different fear-based things that you feel you need to do that don't feed your soul, that don't feed what's really going on in your world that we do every single day. And it drains us. I walk around, I've walked around for many years, and I look at people in different cities, in different places, and they're drained. They're drained for many different reasons, but it's written, it's written on their face. And I'm sick of seeing that. I'm sick of seeing that. It doesn't have to be like that. We get, we get refueled and we get re-energized when we're actually using our own energy for something that truly feeds us in this life, that is truly good. We don't have to be drained all the time. So then, once you put the, the dream, your dream up on the map, you go back to that little table and it asks you to take a little bit, a little piece of paper that says yes on it. Yes is a small but very powerful word. Yes in the right context opens up so many doors. And when you take that yes in context of what you just wrote as your dream, it reminds you to follow through with that dream. That's powerful stuff. So now you're on to it and things are gonna change and it's gonna be good. Some people think that that's not true. Some people don't believe it. Some people have been so um, 
shook down by the world that they have a hard time believing that that's true and that makes me sad because actually they've been tuned in to people for so long or leaders that they trust that are liars that's a problem with with having leaders that are liars you can't keep hoping that the leaders that are liars are going to fix your own problems that doesn't work what works is you knowing what's important in life what's important for you love connection abundance being able to live out your dream if you have an amazing idea on something no one can take that from you that's your own idea and you can create abundance from that and any leader that tries to create laws to shut you down for that is the problem any society that tries to tax you out the wazoo in order for you to live your out your own dream is the problem and then we hold them accountable dreams another thing I've noticed about dreams is they can be manufactured sometimes we have a hard time allowing ourselves to that quiet time that quiet peaceful time to really just think about who we are we're not like everybody else nobody is like each other that's impossible we all have our own unique gifts situations challenges sufferings obstacles um, perspectives but regardless of all those different perspectives if you hone in your energy to love what you can do to share with the world is so beautiful and so amazing and can shed light in ways that you would never even perceive possible for other people that's true so don't discount certain things that you think about that you think and it's funny because people will go well I can dream this but I don't think it's possible mm, girl boy let me tell you something anything you think up and anything you believe is possible that is why the other side Hollywood the media TMZ all the different magazines why do you think they're always selling you ideas and they benefit from you copying or trying to copy to buy whatever they're trying to sell into their dream and you'll never get there and then you'll always feel less than because you're trying to live out somebody else's dream that those folks that are selling a false dream to you for top dollar are going to keep you in poverty and your energy is always going to go towards them and you're never really going to understand who they really are there are some really gnarly people in the world that do really bad things and they make a crap ton of money selling the public false dreams at top dollar so that you spend your entire life chasing a carrot of a lifestyle or a look or whatever to try to be like them and you've lost because you've never allowed yourself to be you and you've never allowed yourself to know that your energy your thoughts your imagination is the power 
they siphon off your own imagination to get you focused on their thought that's a lie that they make money off of from you trying to copy them. Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton, Lady Gaga, Madonna, all the different top Victoria's Secret models. Harrison Ford, Johnny Depp. Let's go into the music industry. Everyone wants to be like Led Zeppelin. Everyone wants to be like ACDC back in the day, or at least in Pittsburgh, they still want to be like ACDC. I mean, they're like in a freaking time warp. I mean, like what the hell? ACDC, really? They want to be like their biggest rap star. And the thing is, is that these folks that know when you consent, okay, so now we're going to go into the, the concept of consenting to other people's dream, marketed dream versus your own power. Once you've consented to the BS of MTV or Hollywood, Disney, um, DreamWorks, all these different things, Vogue, be like Vogue. Once you consent to that, they, they know that you will do anything. American Idol, you'll do anything to get that dream. What will you do for a Klondike bar? That's where the gnarly the gnarly conversation happens where in order for you to live out your dream on their terms of what the marketed dream they were selling to the public you lose everything you lose your innocence you lose your joy you lose your own voice you lose your own magic you lose your own centeredness and you're owned. Everything you do is owned in order to be the copy of a manufactured dream that these entities have created and they know exactly what they're doing. Okay, I know that's really heavy stuff. Weird heavy stuff. But it's true. Right now, um, there's a dear friend of mine that um, she's dealing with a daughter who's 13 years old, uh, who is has gotten influenced by the most recent rap culture. That if you listen to the lyrics of these songs and you think that that's cool and you want to be a part of it um, what's happening to this young girl she's only 13 years old she's thinking that she's worthless and she thinks it's cool to be worthless she's involved in all kinds of really bad things because now her dream and what she's tuned into is telling her that that's the conversation that she needs to have to be tuned in to what she's listening to and how and and in order to be aligned with those kind of folks she needs to think along these lines let me tell you something this is a grooming process to destroy <coughs> sorry I'm, I'm fighting a cold it's a grooming process to destroy young boys and girls <coughs> excuse me for thinking that in order to be accepted by whatever they get tuned into they have to think that they're trash or they have to think that there's something wrong with them because something wrong is cool but let me tell you something she posts this stuff on Facebook. 
she posts these things on Instagram, don't you think predators are ready to dive in at any given moment and promise her a future of success in that conversation? She wants to be an Instagram model. Do you know what happens to Instagram models? This is a dream inverted. They're sold. It's called trafficking. It's called trafficking. I've seen it for years. Instagram models, <coughs> how do you think they get that picture in Saudi Arabia on a yacht? We need to change the conversation back to our own community and what we can do in life that is really, truly abundant and amazing. And that's what the Dream Act Project is about. And I hope that you guys take that seriously. I've got to stop because I'm about to cough some more. <coughs> take that. Run with it. Think amazing dreams. I love you guys. Good night. <coughs> oh my.